Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer and welcome to Best Kept Plans. Today's video is going to be a flip through of my 2024 Traveler's Notebook size planner for the first quarter of the year, as well as a look at the planner I'll be using for the second quarter of 2024. If you're interested in seeing that, please stick around. As I said in my introduction, we're going to be doing a flip through of my catch-all planner for the first quarter of 2024. Coming into 2024, I still really wanted to use a bullet journal. I decided to try out Traveler's Notebook size, the thought process being that if I had something that was this small and didn't have to have two separate planners going, one that I kept at home and one that I used on the go. I was really trying to simplify my planning situation. This planner itself, this notebook itself, I should say, is from Archer and Olive. This came in one of their boxes. I loved it so much. I wanted to purchase it, but I really didn't have any interest in the box as a whole. So I did kind of ask on Instagram if anyone had one. On Instagram, Kim was kind enough to send this to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Much, Kim for that because let me tell you using this notebook for my catch-all has been totally life-changing for my planning. I love Traveler's Notebook Size. It works so so well for me and I'm so glad that I gave it a try. If we open this planner up, I did put a sticker with my name on it that's from According to Allie. And then we come to my cover page. Again, really try to kind of simplify some stuff for myself in 2024. And that starts out with this cover page. It looks like there's a lot going on, but honestly, pretty simple cover page to put together. I did initially write January through June in here thinking that I might get six months in this, but it became evident to me that utilizing it for four months at a time was gonna work out better. So that is what I, I ended up doing. I do have these little clips that I use. These I think are from Midori. I got them on jet pens. I love them. They work perfectly with the Archer and Olive paper. And then I have my future log. I used some month stickers from Papery Planning. These actual written out months they're from Etsy. I'm not exactly sure where though. I of course kept track of all of the different things that I had going on. A couple of things that are happening a little later in the year. And then we move on to my period tracker, my to watch list. I do find this to be very, very helpful for me. I do want to continue having a to watch page, but it didn't get much use. I really have watched very minimal television in the first quarter of the year. And then we go into my social media section. And again, try to make this as kind of streamlined as possible. And so we just go directly into each month. Now, there is a little bit of deco. These are watercolor florals from Create With Mandy. And then these month stickers here are from Papery Planning. I will say this is like a larger month sticker, which I absolutely love. And Papery Planning doesn't have this size sticker on their website anymore which bums me out because the one that they do have it's the same font but it's so tiny i like this bigger one i wish they would bring it back and i did do the first six months of the year in here again because initially i was thinking maybe this will last me through june and i am using one of these clips to mark off the current month and then once we get past that we dive right into my actual section for planning for 2024. Wrote on here a little cover page, added a little deco. This washi, this floral washi is from According to Allie. And then we go right into my January cover page and my January quote page. We flip forward into my currently page. I use a currently stamp set from Everyday Explorers Co. as well as my habit tracker. And I did do a little bit of a Dutch door here. And then I have my monthly spread where I have my list of personal things, my list of work related things. And then I am uh, tracking my mood on my monthly spread using stickers from a shop called 
stickers by Bindi. I do love how simplified the moods are. That just works really well for me personally. If we cut forward, we have my first week of the year. Now, I was a little hesitant going into such a small planner. So for January, I really focused on spreads over, I don't know if you'd call it two pages or four pages, but basically one, two, and then on the back, three, four. I absolutely love the way that this spread came out. I used a stamp set from My Favorite Things uh, and I used three different Cool Tone Distress Oxides and I just think it looks really, really pretty. This spread here ended up being a little bit of a bust for me. It didn't come out the way that I initially wanted it to. So you'll see later on in this planner, I attempted again and it did come out the way that I wanted it to. But yeah, I went with the rainbow spread. Again, another rainbow spread here, but used a different stencil. And then we have just some lavender and pink for this one. This is a stencil though that I used here. And then for this last week here, went fully stampy. Don't necessarily love the way that this one came out. I don't know. I think I needed a third color. I think I needed a third color and a third decorative stamp to kind of really make it work. But after that, we head into February. And I really wanted to lean into the pink tones in my cover page and my, uh, my quote page. For currently in habits, I went with this center deco, which I absolutely love. And then for my monthly spread, it looks very similar to the month prior. After having done a month of four page spreads, I wanted to try two page spreads and I wanted to see if that would still give me enough room. And I do feel like it does. I actually feel like with how much I use my planner, these two page spreads probably work better, though I do like doing four page spreads to add some more deco and use a bunch of stamps and stuff like that. Um, I used for this one some alcohol ink stickers from According to Ally, quote, days of the week, numbers, all according to Allie, and then my deco here is from Papery Planning. I tried to go with almost like a garland through the spread for the week of Valentine's Day. I love this spread. This is honestly probably one of my favorite spreads in this entire planner. These are circle stickers. I think they're the pastel ones from Create With Me and Dee. The florals are from Papery Planning. The abbreviated script days of the week are from Papery Planning. The numbers are from According to Allie and this quote sticker is from According to Allie. I just love the colors. I think it looks so pretty. I love the way it came out. And then we head into March. For March, my birthday month, I always use these anemones. I always use, use blush alcohol ink stickers and I always use these three washi tapes either for my monthly setup or for the week of my birthday. And here we have a currently page. I did do another little tiny Dutch door on this one. Came out, I think, a little better than my Dutch door for January. And then we have my monthly spread. And then we go into the first week, which was the week of my birthday. I had such a vision in my head for how I wanted this spread to look and it came out nothing like I wanted it to. I honestly very much don't like the way that it looks, <laughs> but that's okay. Things don't always turn out the way you think they're going to turn out. This is the spread that I wanted to do in January that came out wrong and so I reattempted it here. I love the way that it looks. It took a long time to cut out this edge here but I'm so so glad that I did it and that rainbow does go onto the back here so I had to be really careful with how I positioned this stencil on either side so that it will line up when I cut out the bumps but really really like the way that it came out. And then I went with some stickers, all from According to Ally. This was like my International Women's Day spread, even though I was a week late. I kind of forgot about it being on the 8th when I did this spread, but I still wanted to put a spread like that together. And then I went with this really awesome stencil, and I did kind of like an ombre gradient. I love the way this ended up coming out. And then I wanted to go super simple, but I wanted to use stamps. So I used some tiny stamps for the dates from Heidi Swap. These days of the week ones, I believe are from Els Studio. And then the March is from Heidi Swap, week numbers from Els Studio. And these florals are from, I think, Altenew. 
And then we have April, which is the last month in here. I really wanted to go bright and springy, and I think that came across. I put my quote here in a vertical alignment because it wouldn't fit horizontally. I really do like the way that it looks. I'm actually filming this on Sunday the 28th, so we're still in April, though the month is mostly coming to an end. Here we have my monthly spread. And then we go into my weeklies. I really was keeping it very simple at the beginning of April. I was feeling a bit in a creative slump, honestly. And I also just had a lot of stuff going on health-wise with having surgery on April 1st. So it was all about simplicity. And I actually planned the entire month of April kind of all at the same time. I do really like the way this spread came out. I used some watercolor wildflower stickers from uh, Create With Mandy. And then I went with Create with Mandy's uh, collage circle stickers and lavender for this one, kind of trying to recreate that spread in February that I love so much, though I think part of what made it work so well was these florals that I put over top of the circles. And then here I was feeling a little bit more creative. I went with these sticker sheets from According to Allie that I really, really, really had been wanting to use for a while. Overall, I do like the way that this spread came out. And then the current week that we're on here, I decided to do colors that were the same as the first spread that I did in this planner. So I used different stamps. These are like paint stroke stamps from My Favorite Things. And yeah, I really love the way that this spread came out. And that is my planner, my catch-all planner for the first quarter of 2024. I love it. I absolutely love it. Again, so glad that I decided to try out Traveler's Notebook Size. And even though I'm switching into a new planner, I am sticking with Traveler's Notebook Size. This is another Archer and Olive notebook. I really, really love this planner as well as the washi tape that came in this box. So I was actually able to find both of those things on Mercari and purchase them through there. I have done my initial setup. And again, really trying to keep things pretty simple in my setups so that I don't get you know overwhelmed or too too daunted by them using a name sticker from according to Allie again and then went with a cover page and quote page very similar in design to what I did in the notebook for the first quarter of the year but definitely wanted to play up these brighter colors because this planner is going to bring me through summertime so I did incorporate the washi tapes that came in the box that this planner came in and went with some kind of orange paper from According to Allie. Here's my future log. I went a little more simple in my future log, didn't include much color at all. Still using these month stickers from Papery Planning. And then these actual like written out month stickers here are from Stick With Kate. And I started it in May, but I did go all the way through till December, even though I'm only using this planner for four months, because I wanna have, like if I schedule something in June that's not happening until November, I wanna have it in here. That way I don't forget about it when I do transition into my next planner. And then I added a little bit of washi tape down here. After that, very similar to my other planner, I had my period tracker, my to watch tracker. I did only put four months on here because I knew I'd only use it for four months. And then we have my social media section. Went with a very similar design as what I went as what I did in the first quarter of the year. Incorporated these same washi tapes uh, that came with the box, uh, the same box as this planner. And then the monthlies for my social media section look exactly like the ones in the first quarter of the year. See how small these months are? These are the small ones that Papery Planning has on the website now. Oh, I just love the bigger ones so, so much. I, I wish they were still available. I did only do four months in here because I know I'm only going to use this planner for four months. So we have May, June, July, and then August. And after that, we get into the cover for May through August 2024, again, using those same washi tapes. And that's going to be it for my flip through of my new planner. You'll see more as I post my uh, monthly setups and, of course, my plan with me's every week. 
and that's going to be it for this video i hope you all enjoyed this flip through of my planner for the first quarter of the year and the planner i'll be using for the next quarter of the year if you have any questions or comments about how i plan the products that i use please don't hesitate to put a comment down below and as always everyone please be safe bye bye